Hello, hello, hello again, everyone, and welcome back to Steins Gate. Suzuha Amane is a very bad liar. And she's either a Chunibyo, or a time traveler, or both, or something. I'm not sure, but she is very interested in CERN being the evil organization from the shadows, and also in IBN uh, 5100s, which John Titer is looking for. It's very suspicious. Anyways, you can tell whenever uh, she's lying whenever she smiles like that. Sure enough, she doesn't offer any other information. She just keeps that insincere smile plastered on her face. Nanimoro. Nanimoro. <laughs> Suzuha falls back down onto the counter with a deep sigh. She looks up at me from that position. I'm more concerned with CERN right now. Maybe they're connected. Yeah, ever think about that? Solving one of Akiba's mysteries won't topple the government or I mean the organization's regime after all. She admits it. She admits it. <laughs> uh -huh. <laughs> okay. Oh, does it? A hidden function. That reminds me. I'm pretty sure the Do John Titor from 2000 said something like that. I searched through my memories. I only vaguely remembered, but it looks like I hit the mark. I grin. Right. <laughs> if it's for you to know and her to find out, then stop telling her your powers. <laughs> for some reason, Suzuha covers her face with both her hands. She opens her fingers just enough to peek at me. That's not enough to escape my power. <laughs> とにかくIBNの5100には隠された機能があるの。APエリアベーシックが普及する前に書かれたIBNの独自のプログラミング言語も解読できちゃうのってさ、驚愕だと思わない。Now I remember John Titor said the same thing in 2000, and right after that an IBM engineer officially admitted to that function's existence. IBN5100でしか解読できない失われたプログラミング言語があったりするんだよ。Oh, is that why John Titor needs it? The reason Titor traveled to 1975 to obtain an IBN5100 was because he needed that function. Maybe Moika wants to use it too. Maybe Moika's John Titor. <laughs> or maybe not. Shining Finger doesn't seem like the type who'd know about that sort of function. IBN5100ってすごくレアなPCなの。while talking, Suzuha keeps dropping her glance to the metal pin in her hand. She rolls it around with her fingers. I guess that's a habit of hers, or maybe it's something more. So, IBN 5100s are super rare, haha. -ha. Maybe if I get one I could sell it for a high price, <laughs> That could be a good way to raise research funds. But first, I have to deal with CERN. Okay, so a time skip, I guess. Life in 2036 is very different from what it is today. Most people live on farms, growing their own food. All forms of commerce and communication are restricted. There's no travel, no internet, no railroad even. Most people never see another town, let alone another city. Uh, science continues to advance, of course, but the vast majority of people do not benefit from that process. Technology belongs only to those chosen by CERN and the Committee of 300. It's very peaceful, at least on the surface. That's n There's none of the conflict you see in this era. There's no war? How is that possible? How did CERN resolve the situation in the Middle East? What have you got against world peace? Sounds to me like CERN's doing humanity a favor. 
This tighter guy stole a time machine from CERN, didn't he? He's the bad guy here. Dying a fire terrorist scum. The world in 2036 is governed by CERN. All nations, even America, have disbanded their armies. Now that's... That would be a feat. That would, that would be a feat. <laughs> to put it simply, civilization has returned to an 18th century level of technology and exists under a communist system of government. Except now that system works flawlessly. Right now you should be asking yourselves how that is possible. How does a system of government that collapsed in the 20th century exist without any discontent? The answer to that question is the reason I am here. Yes, I am a terrorist. <laughs> <coughs> there are others like me who fight against CERN. We think of ourselves as the resistance, but there's no denying that our actions are a kind of terrorism. Okay. Uh. Anyway, I want to hear more about the many worlds interpretation. You said it's been proven by 2036. How? I knew you were a terrorist. How many of you murdered? What if my kids are among them? Maybe I should kill your father. Protect the future. Stop beating around the bush. Give us answers! You're one of the old men who participated in the student riots, aren't you? Filled your head with a bunch of bullshit and now you can't tell fact from fiction, am I right? Delicious nationalist tears. Lol, 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 lol. Saren probably figured it out. They've got a time machine to experiment right? with, right? Yoin Kyoma. That would make you no better than Titor. If you're willing to, go, uh, to face the consequences, then go right ahead. Titor. Question. Did World War III take place as scheduled? Why did you come to this particular time? Did you find an IBN 5100? Is John Titor plugging for the commies? I thought that went out of style years ago. I thought Titor was crazy, but this Yoing guy is even crazier. Get a room, guys, lol. World War III, LMAO. No, no, that's, that's a definite possibility. <laughs> is there supposed to be an IBN 5100 in Akiba? As I've already explained, my goal in this time is to change the future. I'm posting here to warn you about what's going to happen. Perhaps convergence will render my efforts meaningless, but if even one person pays attention, that's enough. Hyoin <laughs> Kyoma. <laughs> world War Three. is that something I said on a different world line? I would like to talk to you in private. Please email me when you have time. Of course, if anyone else is, uh, would also like to email me, feel free. Serious inquiries only, please. I've, all I've been getting is hate mail. Here's my address once more. Yo and Kyoma, you got an invitation for a private chit chat with John Tidor. Hey! <laughs> oh, 20 hours have passed since Daru started hacking. Night gives way to a refreshing summer morning. Eat! I glance at Daru while browsing the app channel on my phone. He's fidgeting even more. Now his legs are like pistons. His knees move up and down in harmony with the rat -a tat 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 of his keyboard. Dado hasn't slept in about 40 hours, but he still won't get off the computer. I was going to ask him if he'd like a break, but his entire body is exuding an aura that says, Don't talk to me. I curl up a bit and return to my phone. My discussions with John Titor just aren't making sense. Not even Titor himself seems to know about the Titor from 10 years ago. It's hard to imagine that everyone on At Channel is conspiring against me. But how else can I explain it? Out of options, I decide to email Titor directly, just as he told me to. He audaciously exposed his own address on the at channel. I guess it's his way of saying, bring it on. In my email, I question the differences between his posts now and his posts ten years ago. The current Titor hasn't even acknowledged the latter. I only vaguely remember them, but they basically went like this. In 2015, okay, we're <laughs> a little behind schedule there, I guess. World War III breaks out. Many people die. In 2036, the world is contaminated from nuclear warfare. It's a nuclear wasteland. You travel from 2036 to 1975 to obtain an IBN 5100. The IBN was necessary to revive technology lost in World War III. The IBM 5100 has a hidden function, the ability to read IBM's proprietary computer language, which predates APL and BASIC. But only certain IBM engineers are aware of that function, so it does not appear in the manual. 
1998, Titor meets his younger self and his parents in America. John Titor was a soldier who volunteered for this mission. John Titor is an American. Furthermore, in 2000, Titor correctly predicted the outcomes of some future events. The Peruvian coast earthquake in 2001, the election of a new pope, the outbreak of the Iraq war, China's advances in space, and so forth. Though he only talked vaguely about each one, they all came true. On the other hand, other predictions went unfulfilled. The year 2000 problem. For example, the Y2K bug, civil war in America, the cancellation of the Beijing Olympics, the inauguration of America's first female president in 2009, and so forth. Hmm. <laughs> There's more, but let's leave those aside for now. I don't know. I don't know. Hmm. Hmm. We might be in Universe B. <laughs> I'm going to ask him why those predictions didn't come true. Aw, sorry for the sudden mail. Also, most of your predictions from back then didn't come true. If you're from the future, then, why didn't your, your predictions come true? I'd appreciate a satisfactory explanation. Okay, there we go. Alright, let's end it now. If you can't answer to, answer to my satisfaction, then the current Titor is an imposter. This is your litmus tense test, John Titor. <laughs> so what are your true colors? True colors, true colors, and in walks Mayuri, the precious sunshine child. We love her. Looks like she's forgiven us for experimenting on her food. She's back to her usual smiley self. <laughs> Only one of them did. You're so nice. <laughs> she's such a good person. Though to be accurate, it wasn't two nights in a row. I took an afternoon nap yesterday. Ah. <laughs> Mayuri starts fishing through her convenience store bag. And then she takes out... The canned Odin is still warm when she gives it to me. I open the lid right away and eat the beef. Mayuri and I have been together for a long time, so she knows what I like. And when it comes to canned Odin, beef is where it's at. It's her money, she gets to choose how to spend it. Mm. I consider saying, you'll get fat if you only eat frozen foods, but that threat's not very effective against Mayuri, so I hold my tongue. Her high metabolism prevents her from getting fat no matter how much she eats. I am jealous! <laughs> Next, she produces a small box with a Rynet illustration. She is adorable! She sticks out her tongue with a shy giggle. Something tells me that in a few months' time, this lab will be neck deep in Upa goods. There's only a few things right now, like the cushion on the sofa, but that number is sure to grow exponentially. Oh hey, they broke him out of it. An empty Diet Cola bottle comes whistling through the air. It hits my head with a nice thunk. Mayuri and I evacuate to a corner of the lounge and quietly eat the Odin. Super Hacker. Janaki. Hacker to Sino Udemare. 
使わなければ宝の持ち腐れ She is so good Incidentally, it looks like the hackers hijacked CERN system back in、uh, 2008. We found news articles about it online. That means even the inventors of the World Wide Web still have holes in their security. With his skills, Darter should have no trouble getting through. <laughs> Okay, Amane. Oh, Skyclad. This is Amane Suzuha. First email. Thanks for exchanging addresses with me yesterday. I finally made a friend here. Yay! Don't worry, I won't email you too much, and I might be slow to reply too. I'm kind of new at this email thing. It's okay to laugh at me. Did we exchange email addresses with her? Okay. That wasn't an exchange. You took my address by force. I had no choice but to submit. Okay. Oh, she's adorable. Hmm? That's unusual. Mayuri just usually just accepts whatever I say. Well, I, I admit it. We are doing a bad thing. But there's no way we can stop now! It's too much fun, and I don't even have to do any of the work! <laughs> I just need to change the subject. I would take that trade in a heartbeat. Sweet potatoes, though! I even get quail eggs. Whatever Chikua is, quail eggs, beef, sweet potatoes. Sweet potatoes are amazing. I don't know what you're talking about. With that said, I skewer the Chikua and put it in my Yuri's can. And I get her beef in return. Subject change complete. Mayuri really eats up conversations about food. It's so easy to manipulate her. <laughs> <laughs> Mayuri's talking to himself. Looks like things are falling into place. Daru really is a super hacker. I think this is the first time I've seen him serious. Daru bends himself forward, staring holes into the screen. But all I see on the screen is the same string of numbers and letters. No! Don't. Uh, can you keep that in your own head, please? <laughs> His eyes are bloodshot and he started rambling. Maybe the lack of sleep is getting to him, you think. You think? You think. Daru opens up a new window, types in a 12 character string, and slams at the enter key. An error sound rings. He quickly deletes the string and enters in a new one. He keeps repeating that sequence until finally. Ooh, <laughs> What enthusiasm! And we'll see the results of Daru's hacking skills and progress in the next episode, so <laughs> I'll see you then. Bye bye!